Great Club. The Great Club for 2010 to be inducted into the Tasmanian Football Hall of Fame is the Hobart and Cannonore Football Clubs. Football in the city of Hobart had its origins in the early 1840s, but found its feet in the latter part of the 19th century. The club that was to become what is known as Hobart today has one of the most colourful histories of any club in Tasmania. In, I had a season with Cannonore Reserves in 1941 and then I enlisted. Now, at the end of the war, a group of fellows got together and they thought we'd try and merge a district football. And my father uh, became one of 14 members that were instigated in getting Hobart on the war path. Back in those days, um, it was a, basically a working men's club. I always thought it was a working men's club, you know. The, whether that's the right thing to say or the wrong thing to say, but uh, we seemed to come from the wharf and the zinc company and those places, and uh, there were such good blokes, top blokes, you know. Loved the club to play with, you know. It was a tremendous experience for me, and I was very lucky to be able to play during those years. Well, I've no doubt the greatest player I ever saw at Hobart, pound for pound, was uh, Dennis Powell. Um, he was a, a wonderful ruckman, attack ruckman, which certainly helped me. Uh, Mel Pascoe was a great player, David Sullivan, I could go right, right through them. Hobart Footy Club, um, all I know is there was a lot of uh, hard nights, hard years, some great years, a lot of friends. Um, I always think of the Hobart Footy Club as a, a family club. Um, there's a lot of families down you know, there. Their sons have played, their brothers have played. So a pretty close club. Um, hard working club, I think. Um, never been at the, uh, had the best facilities, as you would say. Not like a few of the other sides, but pretty honest club, I think. He's lost it. Hobart have control of it. Brooks has it. He's had a look at goal. He's banged it in and put it through. Owen pushing it down there. Look at Wade going. Oh, he's quick, this fellow. Over to Brain. Nicely placed under pressure. Paul Cordo out in front of Rat Ray. Cordo! Should have been doing all day. Burley grabbing it out of the ruck wall. And he's kicked a goal. Well, it's as easy as that for Hobart. Puts it onto the boot down towards the half forward line. There's Wade. There's the siren. It's all over. And the Tigers have won the 1980 TFL Grand Final. Good era there with Mark Browning, come and coached. Um, you know, played a lot of AFL footy. And in 1990, we had uh, Tony Morwood, we had Michael Winner, we had a Jamie Shanahan get recruited to um, St Kilda. We had uh, Andrew Lample get recruited to Melbourne. It's underneath the ball. Winter pulled off it as he kicks. Which way is it going to bounce? This way, that way. Goldgrave now, just stands, steadies, delivers over to Crosby, 31, there's the siren, it's all over Hobart, Premiers for season 1990, and there it is, is that one elated captain and coach, he's absolutely right. To come from Cannonore and then to Hobart and to go into the Hall of Fame, my own feeling, it's a tremendous feeling to be a member of that club that's going into the Hall of Fame.